The goal of Philosophy Portal can be summed up in one sentence, to develop a deep knowledge of philosophy and connect it to your own journey. Our next course focuses on Hegel's science of logic. To learn more, visit philosophyportal.online. The emergence of modern science was a total revolution of our understanding of the world. We no longer trusted our immediate awareness of what is, but rather verified our knowledge of what is through repetitive experiments and tests which could shatter our previous concepts. Consider the initial philosophical gesture of this movement in René Descartes' Cogito, which introduced a fundamental doubt of the entire world. From this standpoint, we get a chain of well-known, remarkable inventions and discoveries. Galileo's microscope and telescope to investigate dimensions of the world previously unobservable, the development of Copernicus's heliocentric model of the solar system, the idea that stars in the night sky hosted other solar systems with distant worlds similar to our own, and the development of universal gravitation, as well as new forms of mass. The idealist philosopher Georg Hegel, a child of the scientific revolution, recognized that it had led to the emergence of a new zeitgeist, opening up new levels of philosophical thought and a higher standpoint for self-awareness. However, in this transformation, what had been called metaphysics as the domain responsible for conceptual mediation of the most fundamental dimensions of human spirit, soul, causality, and God, had been completely destroyed. Consequently, while our knowledge of the physical world had greatly expanded from the scientific revolution, the conceptual frameworks mediating the deepest inquiries into metaphysics were no longer serious ontological engagements, but rather became historical curiosities. It is in this context of science and metaphysics that we should understand Hegel's engagement with not only science, but his contemporary idealist philosophers, Kant, Fichte, and Schelling. In the opening preface of The Science of Logic, Hegel notes that, for Kantian philosophy, the understanding ought not to be allowed to soar above experience, thus emphasizing pragmatism over metaphysical conceptualization. Hegel noted that, in the growth of the modern world, it had started to reflect this ideology, a call for exclusive attention to immediate needs and practical education via a mixture of common sense and material science, over and above metaphysical reflections contemplating eternal concepts of the good, the true, and the beautiful. For Hegel, this paradox amounted to a science void of the subject's deepest truth, for a man cannot live on science and pragmatism alone but rather must cultivate his subsistence through a logical knowing of his own self-nature, the nature and mysteries of the soul, causality, and God, as it related to the good, the true, and the beautiful. The problem for Hegel's logic is that we could not simply take the scientific method, as applied to the world, to the inquiry of the logical nature of our own human spirit. To develop a science of logic, one would need a totally new scientific procedure capable of taking into consideration the very cognition responsible for science in the first place. Thus, as scientific materialism is designed to approach a truer picture of the world, even if it shatters our illusions of that world by filtering external content through tests and experiments, Hegel's science of logic was designed to approach a truer picture of the subject or the traditional material of philosophy, thought itself even if it shattered our self-illusions in the process, by filtering the lifeless forms of ancient logic through the paradox of our very being. While the picture of scientific materialism first developed under a logic of being as deterministic, Hegel had to depart from this logic, as he recognized the coming to be of thought determinations of being as well as their underlying indeterministic non-being. The only fixed picture here is the weird unity of being and non-being, something and nothing. Thus, while scientific materialism shattered our previous concepts of the universe, Hegel shatters the very nature of our self-concept, 
or what he would call the dimension of absolute negativity, required to think not this or that concept, but the concept as such. What results from this paradox for Hegel is an understanding of the mysteries of the soul, causality, and even God that depart from the old metaphysical concepts and invite us, dare us even, to think the becoming of the concept as such, as a spiritual historical process that moves through each particular subject. From this exposition, Hegel shows us that the division typical of the modern world, that of the emergence of science and pragmatism on the one hand, and the older reactions of theology and metaphysics on the other hand, involves the need of a deeper philosophical mediation of the logical nature of thought itself, which of course had determined both scientific and religious reality in the first place. What is at stake is a standpoint of subjective knowing that can open to a new objectivity, not an object of the external world, operating either by physical laws or supernatural ideality, but rather the mysterious object of what the spirit is in and for itself. For Hegel, this leads to a scientific inquiry about the nature of the concept as such. In this way, if Kant's philosophy led to the idea that the understanding ought not to be allowed to soar above experience, perhaps we could say that the logic of Hegel's philosophy leads to the idea that the understanding ought to lift experience to cognition of the truth of the concept. Here we do not operate in the dualism of pragmatic experience versus metaphysical speculation, but rather open up the powers of metaphysical speculation for pragmatic experience. Truly, Hegel invites us into a weird one. The goal of Philosophy Portal can be summed up in one sentence. To develop a deep knowledge of philosophy and connect it to your own journey, our next course focuses on Hegel's science of logic. To learn more, visit philosophyportal.online.